Coming up on the WP Minute, the calm before the storm, facing reality of a failed project, and more. Big exciting news at the WP Minute. You can now join our Slack membership for as little as a $5 virtual coffee donation. Head to the WPMinute.com slash support and purchase your spot to be in a new, refreshing Slack channel for WordPress professionals. Our annual membership still exists if you want some great annual member perks. But if $79 a year is outside of your reach, you can still support our work and get access to our great group for as little as $5 forever. So what are you waiting for? Join your new home for WordPress professionals at the WPMinute.com slash support. Let's get into your best five minutes of WordPress this week. WordPress 6.4 RC2 is out and is feeling like a bit of a calm before the storm. For me, all eyes are on the 2024 theme. Will this be the theme that changes it all? And by changes it all, I mean, will users look at this default theme and want to use this for their business? Let's take it a step further and ask the WordPress professionals in the room, will you implement this theme on client websites? I've only spotted a glimmer of hope amongst the plethora of site editor frustrations. I get it. Baby steps. But how much can we slow walk this 47% of the internet over the finish line before something else comes along? AI builders, AI designers, AI copywriters, AI, AI, AI. Are you sick of it yet? When I'm logged into the WP Minute YouTube channel and spot an ad from Squarespace or Wix, I can't help but think we're the old people in the room. Like, damn, that looks good. Or at least the ad does. The good news is that the third-party theme market still has a chance to innovate, even if their code, like Ollie Dash, can only live in a plugin. Though, I can't shake that same dark storm hovering over our heads for indie developers like M Mike from Ollie. How can you compete with complete theme tool sets like Cadence or GeneratePress, Elementor or Divi? Then throw the pace of WordPress core development into the mix. You probably should have just started a form plugin. Just kidding. Gravity Forms is still the best. Note, I work for Gravity Forms. And that storm doesn't stop at just product owners. Last week, I reported on Rodolfo Malagli's nearly 40% decline in WooCommerce business. While I can't point to another public blog post, I chatted with many agency owners at WordCamp US that told me business was down. Hop on X or Twitter, whatever you call it, and search for WordPress freelancer to read some of the sad state of affairs. See also last week's episode where I highlighted web hosts getting into the services game. Which brings me to WordPress media. You guessed it, down two. It's hard to earn sponsorship. Underscore earn because I work hard. So do some of my competitors. Many of us have poured a decade into this arena are seeing a decline in ad and sponsorship dollars. And we shouldn't. You product people need us, believe me. Market shift, competitors come in, social media traffic dries up. You want a personality that knows WordPress space to lean on. But I get it, business is business. While I'm bullish where WordPress is headed, its importance in the open source publishing ecosystem, what I'm getting at is, yeah, WordPress 6.4, it's important for a lot of reasons. Reasons I don't think developers and contributors are really thinking about. Iterate and build a better version than the last, yeah, fully comprehend the WordPress professional market and the perception of WordPress to the end user? Not so sure. Anyway, I'll be readying the champagne for a virtual send-off of WordPress 6.4 in the 2024 theme in a few weeks. See you then. Important links this week. Justin Ferriman joined me this week to talk about his failures to success. He's selling off Gap Scout and fo focusing on a new business. You can listen to that interview on the WP Minute Plus, right where you get this podcast. Automatic Purchases Text.com, which dubs its services as a quote, all of your messages in one inbox. I signed up for a trial and it doesn't handle email, so it's not really useful for me, but check that out if you'd like. People breaking up with WordPress, maybe because of the last two episodes I published. Marik from Post Status wrote this for you. Check that link in the show notes. WordPress 6.4 field guide is ready for all of you developers out there. MultiCollab 4.0 by MultiDots is out. This is uh, interesting and important because uh, this is a core feature coming to WordPress in the future. And State of the Word 2023 will be live streamed from Madrid, Spain this year. Save the date, December 11th at 15 UTC, which is 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm sure my family will be happy. I don't have to stream boring WordPress stuff through dinner time. 
That's it for today's episode. Be sure to listen to our other podcast, the WP Minute Plus, with that interview I had with Justin. You can find it for free where you get this podcast. Search for the WP Minute in your favorite podcast app and add both because we've got some great interviews. If you're a WordPress product business and you want to get your Black Friday deal in front of our our audience, go to our WordPress Black Friday placement link in the footer of the WP Minute. Click that link. It's got a little fire emoji on it. You can sign up for this video that I'm doing for the WP Minute YouTube channel, which has nearly 15,000 subscribers. Five spots are left. Thanks to all the sponsors who have taken that offer up. I can promote your Black Friday and your product in that video. Thanks to our pillar sponsors. I really mean it because I've been talking to a lot of content media uh, WordPress folks this week, and a lot of us are seeing a decline. Thanks to our pillar sponsors, Pressable and Bluehost. Thanks to our Foundation Plus sponsor, the WP World. Without these sponsors, support from our paying members, and you, the listener, the WP Minute wouldn't be possible. See you in the next episode.